Welcome to Climax Scott's Football, a special selection Sunday playoff segment. The Panthers learn they will meet an old familiar rival in the playoff opener at the Community Selection Sunday Playoff Pizza Party at CS High School Sunday that approximately 200 people attended. CS will host Menden this Friday at 7 p.m. in the opener, and the Panthers come into the game 9-0, while Menden will bring a 5-4 record in the contest. The two SJV rivals have clashed the last four years in the district championship game, with Menden coming out on top all four years. CS senior Adam Audette and coach Kevin Langs talked about the long history between the two schools and what the Panthers will have to do to emerge winners in the playoff opener. Uh, Adam, uh, big big selection Sunday today. Um, you get your big uh, rival, uh, Menden. Just talk about facing them. Uh, you know, we got what we wanted. I mean, we're not going to shy away from anyone. And really, you got to go out there to beat the best to be the best. So it's a great opportunity. I know all of us are thankful. I mean, well, we can we can talk all we want, but it all starts on how we do out on that practice field and how we prepare and how we come out. You and I talked earlier, um, there's a lot of history between the Green and White and Climax Scott. Some, you go out there with the uh, previous players that played before you, don't you? Yeah, I mean, my freshman year I got the chance to play. Sophomore year I got to start last year. I was fortunate to be a big part of the team and honestly, yeah, history is in their favor. That does not mean that we can't go change history. And then finally, um, you're going to host that big game too. That's got to be special. What's it like coming out to Big Blue Stadium on a playoff night? It's gonna be all, it's gonna be awesome. The atmosphere, you can't explain it. I mean, I've never been able to be a part of something like that on our turf. So last time was 2003, and I remember that. Just little, I was little. It's all about how he brought up. I mean, I've been brought up in the program. I know all my friends have too. And at this point, it's a family. We're just gonna be able to be ready to go battle on Friday. You bet. Uh, I was gonna ask you before you go into your meeting, Adam. Um, we, we talked all year about your defense. Um, you're number two on the points allowed list in school history, um, but your offense is good too. Just talk about both sides of the football, how well you guys have played. Yeah, I mean, me being a center, I get to be in the middle of, of it all, and I consider myself as one of the leaders of the line, and I know you just, we've been talking all year. You take it one game at a time, one play at a time, and once you do that, things will fall into place. And, it's worked out so far. Let's hope we do it again on Friday. Well, good luck uh, Friday with Menden there, Adam. Coach Lang, selection Sunday here today. Um, just talk about your draw, please. Tough draw, right? I mean, it, uh, it's a draw, though, that um, probably be honest with you, that uh, good that it takes place. I mean, we all know that. That's a game that, uh, uh, win or lose, our young men look forward to playing. And, um, and so it gives them a great opportunity and just a great program for Menden. You don't have any better at our level than the Menden Hornets. So be able to play Menden, and, and uh, it's just a, just a great blessing. So we're looking forward to the opportunity to be with our friends and, and the Hornets and um, lock it up and see what happens. There's a lot of history between these two teams in the SJV and then now in the playoffs. Um, what's it going to take to get get to break that rock, as you call it? Uh, you, you know, I think what it will take is it's just, you got to be physical for four quarters. Uh, you got to play smart football. They, you know, they, they're going to find you if you're out of position or you're not doing your job right they have a tendency to be able to find that so for us to be just as much mentally sound as physically sound is going to, what it's going to take for four quarters and uh as far as the uh, defense this year you're number two on that school record mm -hmm. for nine games um can you just please talk about your defense this year that's wonderful yeah unbelievable i mean defense is where it starts everybody loves offense and score points but you win championships playing defense and uh, you know let, we said zach mobley and logan hunter some little seniors on there that have led that defense have just been uh, tremendous. So. And, and then um, finally, we, maybe a, a playoff shout out. You got another sure Langs do. in the. Yeah, uh, Unionville Seabwing Area Schools. Another coach Langs and his team was blessed to make the MHSA playoffs. So go, Patriots. We're rooting for you. Uh, done a great job over there. Keep plugging away. Um, it'll be a great week to enjoy. So, seniors at Seabwing, congratulations, Tyler. And hi to my grandchildren, right? Bryce and Lisi, Papa says hi, and uh, Jana, we love you too. Good job, Coach. We wish you the best in the playoffs. Thanks.
Colin will play at Pittsford in the other district contest, and the two district winners will clash in the district championship game. On a side note, CS graduate Tyler Langs, the son of Panther coach Kevin Langs and his wife Kim, now the head coach at Unionville CB Wang, will guide USA in the playoff opener at Sandusky. Now remember, it's CS and Menden in the playoff opener this Friday at 7 p.m. at CS. Reporting live from CS Junior Senior High School on Selection Sunday, this is Scoop for www.theclimaxcrescent.com.